Hey everyone, wanted to do a brief intro before we get into the driving chat that you're about to see. I want to thank some people for buying me coffee. Um, I feel bad. I probably should have thanked these people earlier. I just, honestly, um, every time I go to record a video, I forget to do it and I'm so sorry. So, I want to thank Patty, also known as CDA Secretary. Uh, Patty bought me a coffee and said, Happy birthday, my friend. Love you bunches. Thank you so much, Patty, for thinking of me on my birthday. I appreciate it. I had a fabulous birthday. Um, someone bought me three coffees and said, Love your videos. Happy birthday. We are both Geminis. Yay. Happy birthday to you, Shug. And Katia bought me a coffee and said, Hi, Laura. I know you have mixed feelings about your birthday, but I wanted to buy you a cup of coffee to celebrate. Sorry, I am one day late. I appreciate you. Well, Katya, I appreciate you, Shug. Thank you so much for buying me a coffee and thinking of me on my birthday. That's so sweet. I really appreciate it. Um, I had the best birthday ever, so thank you. And then Sandra West bought me three coffees and said, thank you for continuing your small business fun funds. You are welcome, Sandra. I had contemplated not doing small business fun funds. I did release one earlier this week. Um, but I decided after listening to all of you lovelies that I needed to just do what I want to do. It's my channel. So if I want to show a crap load of pens, I'm going to show a crap load of pens. It's what I do. I collect diamond painting pens. It's what makes me happy. Um, and I want to show you all of the awesome artwork in these pens from these small businesses um, that I like to support. And I want to make all of you aware of the small businesses that are out there so that you can choose whether or not you want to, you know, support them as well. So thank you everyone for buying me a coffee and again for just an awesome birthday. It was fabulous uh, to be able to do a live and talk to all of you. So I want to thank you again for all of your support and making me feel really awesome on my birthday, um, which means a lot to me. So thank you guys so much. And now we'll get into the driving chat. I hope everybody has a fabulous day. Bye, guys. Hey, everyone. Welcome back to Anxiety Yard Adventures. We were doing a driving chat. Um, I was trying to get my phone straight, and I've got somebody behind me that was being impatient. Anyway, so I am out and about. It is a beautiful day today, about 79 degrees, blue sky. I went to the post office. I have what's called informed delivery on my PO box and it lets me know when I have uh, mail. So I actually got an email saying that I had some things. So I went and picked that up. I have those sitting next to me. And now I'm going to go to Starbucks or as I like to call it, um, and have called it for years, it was a joke with a previous coworker of mine, we call it the Buck of Star. <laughs> I don't know why, I don't know why, but we call it the Buck of Star. So anyway, I haven't been to Starbucks in, I'm gonna be really honest, the last time I think I went to Starbucks was when I met Rachel Ray. What was that like? Christmas time. That was in December and we're in June. <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm about due for a nice iced coffee. Um, yeah, so I'm going to try and think of what to talk about. I've been very busy with birthdays and um, just family, family things. And again, I want to reiterate, I want to thank everyone so much <laughs> excuse me for showing up to the birthday live that I did um, that was a lot of fun and I was a little bit nervous at first but uh, I think it I think it went well and my best friend Sean was there on the live since he couldn't be here in town so that was nice as well um, so it was it was one of the best birthdays I've had in a long time because normally on my birthday I usually spend it by myself. I mean, my husband works, um, you know, my family's busy. Uh, so on my actual birthday, it's usually just me, which, you know, it can kind of suck being by yourself and all that stuff. So yeah, you know how it goes, but it was a great, great birthday. Um, 
yeah I'm trying to get the my phone isn't in there very well but I'm not supposed to be touching my phone um, yes so what else I actually took a break from the diamond painting that I'm working on the red moon by distracted by diamonds I, I needed something different um, I've been working on that off and on well mostly on for about a month and I just wanted to do something different so I switched back to my turtle uh, it's called imagine by Rachel Froud from TSA um, I went back to that because that has so many bright bright beautiful blues and yellows and pinks and oranges so I went back to that and I've been enjoying that I will say I'm going to miss the smaller round drills I know a lot of people didn't like the smaller round drills for the fact that they were you know that they were clumping together or there was a lot of static I really like the the teeny tiny small drills I just I love them um, so I am gonna miss that now that TSA has moved to the 2.7 millimeter um, round drills but that's okay I still have I think I've got like three or four kits with the smaller round drills still I've got two or three older Lizzie Falcons got one too from Eileen's site, the real pretty tropical landscape ones. So I have plenty, Shug. I have plenty. <laughs> and I'm sorry if the sun is right in the camera. Um, I can't really do much about that. I could close my sunroof, but then I wouldn't get, you know, a tan on my pasty white skin. <laughs> Y'all, I need a tan. It's like I walk outside, I'm going to catch on fire. Um, yeah. So anyway, so I took a break. I'm working on the turtle. I worked on that a little bit last night. I've also, I've been having a lot of fun playing Animal Crossing. Um, I usually do that later at night once, you know, once I've spent time with Adam and played with the cats. I'll get on Animal Crossing before I go to bed. And it's just, it's relaxing to me because you get to like make things and like craft things, you can go fishing, you can go visit other islands, so it's just, it's relaxing to me. I know it's a kid's game, but, you know, it's fun, it's fun, and I've got, I'm friends with Jeremy on the game, but I haven't seen him on very often, and I need to get Bev my friend code. Every time I think about it, it's like, I ha I'd have to go over and actually turn on the game and stuff, so... Yeah. Anyway, so what is everyone working on? What are you doing? Does anybody have any vacation plans for the summer? I know school is mostly out now. Um, I think there are a couple more graduations going on this week. I know uh, my friend Sean is working at graduation this week for a public school. Uh, but I think after this week, I think they're done. Um, so yeah, I have plans. I'm going to go to my dad's um, house on Gwen's Island for July 4th for his birthday. And I don't know when I'm going and how long I'm going to stay. Um, his birthday is, like I said, on July 4th. So that's on a Sunday. Adam is not going to go. He is going to stay home with Bella and the cats. Um, the cats would be fine on their own. Well, I say that, but I'd probably come home to my house being absolutely destroyed. Um, but Bella, I'll be really honest. She's, we're noticing some changes in Bella. She's um, having to go to the bathroom a lot more. Um, she doesn't want to come out of her crate because uh, she feels safe in there because she's blonde and pretty much deaf. Um, she just doesn't want to do much. And I'd, I'd feel a little uncomfortable, I think, um, trying to board her um, 
if we were to do that. So, all right, I am gonna order my coffee here. So give me one second. Hi, can I get a venti iced coffee with half the sugar and coconut milk? Okay. Here we go. That's it. Thank you. Oh, actually, you know what? I'm going to have to stop this because the app is on my phone. So I'll be right back. Okay. We are back. Sorry, I had to mask. This parking lot is a mess to get in and out of um, to get coffee. Um, oh, that sugar that gave me coffee, he was so cute. So cute. And he had on um, really um, pretty coral nail polish. Oh, it was fresh. It was fresh. Fresh, I say. All right. So now I'm trying to get out of the Starbucks. Here we go. Yay! Out and about today. Yes. So anyway, um, what was I talking about? I don't even know. This driving shot is all over the place. Oh, so I've had a couple of people mention to me, and I feel like such a dumbass. Um, so when I record these I, ha I use my phone and I flip it obviously and it acts like a mirror and I've had a, c a bunch of people ask me why does it look like you're driving like a car from Europe like driving on the right side because the way I'm recording it does look like um, I'm on the right side so I didn't know because you know me I didn't know that you could flip your image in my editing software. I use Filmora 9. Um, I didn't know you could do that. I'm pretty sure this says no turn on red. Uh, so anyway, so I was talking to Sean. I was like, I really need to figure out how to change this because I know other people that do whipping chats and they don't it looks like they're driving a normal car. He was like, uh, Laura, there's a flip feature in <laughs> Filmora 9. I'm like, oh, probably could have Googled that shook. Anyway, so apparently I can flip the image. So I'm going to try that on this whip and chat to make it look like, or drive and chat, to make it look like I am driving on the right side of the car. <laughs> Yeah, and I, I really wanted to be able to have a contraption that I could put up on my dashboard, but the way my dashboard is, it's it's got a really strange surface, and the suction cup doesn't stay on it, so Adam said the only way I'd be able to do it is if I actually got the like 3M Velcro strips and put them on my dash, but if I do that, it's going to tear up my dash really bad, and I, I just... I'm really OCD about my car. Um, I keep my car really clean. Um, I just, I don't like, I don't like putting things on my car, if that makes sense. Anyway, so yeah, right now I just have a, I have a phone holder that attaches to my vent, my air conditioning vent, and that's what holds my phone. But I would love to be able to show you guys scenery, figure out something. I know there's some, you know, car holders. I've seen some really strange ones that like wrap around the back of your steering wheel. Um, yeah. I don't know. I don't know if I'd feel safe doing that. But anyway. So yes, uh, the rest of the week for me, um, I 
am going to lunch with my mom on Friday. We were going to go last Friday for my birthday, but the weather here has been really strange. Uh, we're having lots of bad storms uh, throughout the day, which normally if we get bad storms, it's like later in the afternoon, early evening, but we've been getting them earlier in the day. And last Friday, it was just nothing but thunderstorms and rain all day. And we had reservations to sit outside. And this place is really cool. It's called um, the Mannequin Farmhouse. And it's all like organic hand-raised food um, at this old farmhouse that these people purchased and turned it into a very small restaurant. Um, it's also a venue for weddings, um, you know, you know, events, that kind of thing. Um, it's a very, very cool little place. And I love going to places like that. If I'm gonna go out to eat, I would much rather support a small business instead of a chain, um, you know. Uh, I know you're not really doing that, dude. Oh my gosh. He just blocked traffic. Oh my gosh. Um, yeah, so I like going to the, you know, the small business restaurants and that kind of thing um, to support that. Uh, we don't really have a quote-unquote small business coffee shop here. Um, we used to have some downtown, but I don't think they're open anymore. A lot of places have gone out of business because of COVID, which is such a shame. Um, in fact, going back to going on vacation, we were going to have um, a pet sitting service that my dad used to use, come and stay with the cats and the dog and they went out of business. So, I mean, I guess so, COVID, and you know, people aren't gonna let people in their house. So, um, yeah, I just don't wanna board Bella. I just, I just don't wanna do it. She's, you know, we're not sure how old she is. I think she's probably 13, 14. And she's just, she's just gone downhill. So, um, yeah, I would just feel better not not boring her at all and just having Adam stay with her for right now and I'll go and spend time with my dad and all that good stuff and then see um, hopefully in the next you know year or two we can plan a trip. We're supposed to be planning a trip to Ireland but um, I think we have to wait kind of see how things play out with COVID over there. So yeah, I'm sorry, I'm distracted. I'm next to this giant dump truck. Okay, I'm gonna go by him. Okay. Oh, all the school buses are lined up. I don't know why, it's 11.30 at a high school. Oh, maybe they're doing like exams. I don't know, it's really strange. Yeah, so anyway, so I'm going to go out to lunch with my mom on Friday. That'll be good. Uh, she came over on Sunday and brought me my birthday gift. Um, it, was, it was funny. We went, Adam and I went to the grocery store on Sunday. We actually went out to Publix, which we really like Publix. It's, it's a, nice, a nice place to go shopping, and they have a really good selection of fruit um, and produce. And I'm, I'm eating a lot of fruit, so... Uh, so we get to Publix and I told Adam before we got there, I said, you know what, how much do you want to bet we're going to run into my sister? My sister lives literally across the street from the Publix. Sure enough, we go around the corner of an aisle and there's my sister. <laughs> She's like, well, hey there. So that was fun. Um, we got to talk to her for a little bit. And then coming home from Publix and getting our groceries, we're, we're driving through the neighborhood, our neighborhood. And I'm like, who is this crazy lady walking on the side of the road with a giant trash bag? Who do you think it was? Yes. 
It was my mom. She was walking, and she walks around the neighborhood a lot. She was walking to my house with a giant trash bag that had my birthday gift in it. <laughs> I was like, Mom, get in the car. Get in the car. You look like a hobo walking down the street with a big trash bag. <laughs> oh my gosh. It was hilarious. So anyway, got to the house, undid all the groceries open her gift. She got me, it was so nice. She went to Plow and Hearth, which is a gardening store here. Actually, I think it's across the U.S. Um, but I have been asking for years. We have a really large um, porch swing on my front porch. And I've been asking for years for a cushion for the front porch so people could sit on it because it's just a, a white wooden swing and it's not very comfortable to sit in. Um, but it needed a specific size because of how large it is. And Plow and Hearth was the only place to get it. And I'll be really honest with you, Plow and Hearth is not cheap. It's expensive. And I think the cushion itself, when I looked at it, was over $100, which is just stupid. Stupid for a cushion. I can just, you know, get regular pillows and sit out there. <laughs> um, So, she gave me the cushion, and I was like, Mom, this is too expensive. You shouldn't have done this. She was like, oh, my gosh, they were having a giant sale. She was like, it was like half off. I'm like, what? She's like, yes, you need to go back and get more. <laughs> so, yeah, I want to go um, hopefully next week and just go look at what they have in that size. So, yeah, it's real pretty. It's navy blue. They didn't have the pattern that I wanted, um, but I don't care. I, you know, a cushion is a cushion and it's gonna be outside. And as long as it's some kind of color, which navy blue is fine. And then she got real pretty side pillows um, that were navy blue with real pretty like coral and white. Um, they almost look like hibiscus flowers on, on the side cushions. It's really pretty, I'll just take a picture. Yeah, so that was that was fun. It's always fun because my mom can just walk over whenever and she'll come over and sit on my porch and we'll have, you know, we'll have a gin and tonic or if it's early, we'll have a coffee, you know, same thing. I'll go to her house and do, do that. She has a nice screen and porch on the back as well. So it's, it's just so nice being able to live that close to her. Um, she and I are very very close. Love my mommy. Um, my dad and I are not as close uh, as my mom and I. But, you know, that's, that's just how it goes. We just, we've had our ups and downs and a lot of, a lot of family drama. I think everybody's gone through that at some point. Why are we going 45 in a 55? Shook. Am I going to have to say it? Do you just need to drive on into the DMV and surrender your license? You're in a Volvo. Oh boy. Okay. Yeah, you're just looking. You're not paying attention to what you're doing. That's what's happening. <laughs> She's just driving around, not looking. Oh boy. Um, I forgot what I was saying. Anyway, uh, and then next week I'm taking, I know Father's Day is Sunday. Next week we are taking my dad out, I think on Tuesday for lunch for Father's Day. Me and my sister, I don't know where we're going to go yet, but we're going to, we always do that. Just me and my sister take my dad and go out for a nice lunch. So yeah, that'll be lovely. And then, of course, we've got, you know, July 4th after that. So, I, I don't know, like I said, I don't know when I'm going, how long I'm going to be there. I might be there for a couple of days. I might be there for a week. I, I don't know. If Adam's not going, there's really no pressure for me to come back. Um, and I kind of just need a break, you know. I need, like, a, even if it's not a vacation, like a staycation, 
need a break from my normal routine. I need to get out more, uh, even if it's just to go drive around and go walk outside at a park or something. Um, I just, I get a little nervous about doing that by myself. Uh, if it's in like an isolated area, like a park or, you know, the river or something like that, I'd rather be around a lot of people. It's just, you know, my anxiety. Uh, I know that sounds conflicting, but like, I don't want anything to happen to me. That's what I'm saying. I don't, I don't want to be, you know, walking around by myself and something happen. Um, so, yeah. Anyway. We have a really big um, outdoor mall here. Uh, it's very nice. And I can go there and walk around and, and look at shops. And it's... Today would have been a great day to go, actually. Already almost back to the house. Yeah, so Adam and I had talked about moving. I think I brought this up before. We had looked at some condos. We love where we live. It's just the house is so large and the maintenance on the property with Adam working full time, it's it's just a lot. Um, so we had looked at moving, but we can't really find anything out here where we live and we're pretty adamant we want to stay out this way uh, just because it's such a beautiful area and it's outside of the city but not too far from everything but the condos were exp as, as expensive as our house which our house is big y'all it's big uh, we really didn't need that much house but I wanted a house in my mom's neighborhood and that was the only one that wasn't a fixer-upper and was available when we needed to move. And it's beautiful, but it's just, it's huge. So we wanted to downsize, but I'm not going to cut my square footage in half and pay the same, if not more. <laughs> I mean, they want like $500,000 for a 2,000 square foot condo. No. No, ma'am. No. Not going to do that. So, anyway. All right. I am turning into my neighborhood. Uh, yeah. So, Adam and I talked about it. For that kind of money, you know, we could just hire someone to come and take care of, you know, the yard and stuff. And when I get to the point where I can't take care of the inside, we can just hire, you know, a cleaning service to come in. And I mean, I'm talking down the road, like, you know, down the road, like 10 years from now. Uh, the yard, though, that might be sooner because Adam just doesn't have time to do it. It's like he works so much during the week, so he only gets... He only gets really one day to himself because usually the other day is doing stuff around the house or yard work or, um, I thought that was my mom for a minute. You know, he only gets one day and it's like, I don't want to be like, Hey, can you weed eat? Can you cut grass? Can you go fix this? Can you fix that? You know? Um, oh, that's the other thing. So we have a bird's nest in my mailbox. We have a newspaper box underneath our mailbox and a bird actually made a nest in there. I don't want to disturb it, but I saw it and I was like, Oh no. <laughs> so I hope, I hope nobody tries to shove anything under there. So anyway, all right, well I am home, but I just wanted to take y'all out and about with me while I was running around. So I hope everybody has a fabulous, fabulous rest of your day, rest of your week, all that good stuff. And I'm sure I will see you again very soon.